So what's next? Um. Any time now. Oh, okay. Finally, we got um the first massive movie ever. The first, the ending of Phase One. Building oh. up, we have Avengers One. All right. I said one right as you went. Okay, so. By the way, after that we have the shows. All right. Mom Division. So, Avengers One. The characters are great. The action is great. The effects look all right at times. The Avengers, the, the final York battle looks awesome. It just has this feeling like it's a film from the 90s at time. I don't know why. This film does feel like the great culmination of everything in Phase 1 so far. So, and once again, Tom Hiddleston is great as always. Everyone is. I really like how good the characters bounce off each other. There's a lot of... It, it's really dynamic and shit like that. I don't know. I really liked it, you know? <laughs> I don't really have any issues with this film. Uh, I I think I like Infinity War a bit better. I don't I don't know for sure, but I like how this film. The best part about this film is the human element of it. The way how the film introduces the team, how they meet, and we get to see their character ideals and personalities clash. I do love how it reminded me of yeah and like and it, it's like the start of the Infinity Saga really the real start yeah that's another thing with For the Dark Worlds it's so fucking important like if that movie wasn't there then yeah we'd be a lot of different things wouldn't we <laughs> yep uh so, what is, I don't really, uh, yeah, I don't really have any problems with this film, I just think it's great. Um, yeah, what, what tier would you put it? Yes. Once again, the, uh, just everything about it, I, I feel, to me, it feels mostly like a continuation of four because the villain is Loki and shit and that's the character that's the character who's mostly mostly affected by the story it always happens four of them four of them yeah yeah wait I'm for two with acting Avengers film guys <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh it's a little pattern isn't there yeah I also really like um What's his name now? Mark Ruffalo's. Yeah, old. Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> this is the first film he's in, and he's great in it. I, if there's one thing, the Avengers film feels the most nostalgic ha to me because, like, it has that same fucking feeling as the Lego Avengers games. Yeah, no, I wish we could play that. Like, it feels the most kiddish, but at the same time, the most. The thing is, I think that's it. It feels like an actual live-action cartoon to me. It just does. It feels... I think it's because it's made by Joss Whedon, who, like, he made shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and that's, like, the most teenage, kiddish, but serious show ever and shit. It has that same vibe. Also, he also worked on fucking Toy Story. I really wish we could play Lego Marvel on this channel. Maybe we should. Yeah, I, I might get it. I but, yeah, guys, we actually should pay for them. I I don't know if you'd be interested in like Marvel Two though. Not really. Maybe maybe after we've done the first one, and I want to like try one hundred percent it. Yes, like so another thing. We need to try one hundred percent like the Marvel One. Great way to win yeah. So. <laughs> That'd be, that would be the best gaming thing we do on the channel. By the way, guys, on the PS5, no joke, it is actually on there. Which surprises the fuck out of me. Yeah, not What film was I talking about? Oh, Venice. Yeah, it's just great altogether. All right, I think we're done with every phase one to three film. Yep, oh, and this is the nearly 10.